Hi, my name is Danny Gonzalez. I'm here with David Terrain with Anritsu. And today we're going to show you how to perform fiber to the antenna, mobile front haul, and mobile back haul test applications using the Anritsu MT1000 Network Master Pro. The Enritsu MT1000A Network Master Pro comes standard with an Ethernet VLAN scan and bandwidth verification application. The application provides a quick and easy method for network and field operations teams to monitor and filter Ethernet traffic based on traffic settings, such as VLAN, IP address, DSCP values, and others. This tool enables the user to determine if the bandwidth and priority traffic is being received at the site and verify if the service level agreement is met and if traffic is shaped correctly. Once we verify that the SFPs are compatible with one another, the next test is to perform a backhaul test to verify that the traffic coming from the central office of the CO to the site has been provisioned correctly. We call this our VLAN scan test. And what this allows us to do is allows us to plug in directly into the SFP that's connected to our backhaul, to our link, and verify that the traffic coming from the central office is provisioned and we're seeing that traffic here at the site. In order to do that, you have to verify, make sure that the SFP that you have installed into the test instrument is the same type of SFP that you are connected to for the backhaul. And then perform the Ethernet VLAN scan test. To perform the Ethernet traffic VLAN scan application, start from the main application screen. Click the right arrow of the Ethernet applications to scroll to the right and choose the channel stats application. Once the application launches, choose the SFP, QSFP, or CFP port you're performing the test with by clicking the port to highlight it green, then press Accept. Next, make sure you've inserted the correct optical module, either SFP, SFP+, QSFP, or CFP4, into the test port before enabling the port. To enable the port, click the drop-down menu and choose the optical module inserted into the tester. Notice the optical wavelength and compliance appears in the transceiver window to verify you inserted the correct module. Once you've connected the optical fiber between the test and Ethernet port under test, you will see the link speed displayed along with a green light symbolizing you successfully linked to the Ethernet port under test. If the light remains red, verify the optical transceiver and fiber are completely inserted before continuing. After you've enabled the test port, press the Stream tab to configure your port source MAC and, if necessary, source IP address, so the Ethernet device port under test will recognize the tester. Click default to generate a unique MAC address and avoid duplicate MAC address issues. Once the MAC is set, the tester will be able to see all of the incoming traffic addressed specifically to that port and verify the traffic is shaped correctly. Disregard the DST MAC or destination MAC and payload pattern, since we are only monitoring the incoming traffic and not generating. Now, your test port is configured and ready to begin monitoring incoming traffic. Press the Start Measurement button, located in the top right corner of the Test Menu tab. The measurement immediately begins and transitions to Results window. The channel stats are separated into two windows. The top window displays the incoming traffic identifiers, such as MAC address, IP address, VLAN ID priority, which can be filtered and sorted by the user. The bottom window displays incoming traffic stats such as frame rate, bandwidth, throughput, and frame size. To sort the incoming traffic by VLAN ID, select the Modify Columns button located in the top left portion of the GUI. The Definitions column located on the left displays all traffic identifiers, which can be included in the top window. First, click Clear to deselect all definitions except for the VLAN tag. On the right-hand column, choose the statistics you want to view. In this case, we'll only choose throughput, undersize, and oversize frames. Then click OK, which will reset our current results and start over based on our new filters. Next, let's view the two windows side by side, so we can associate the VLAN tag traffic we are sorting with the throughput and statistics we are capturing in real time. Press the Window View icon button located next to Merge to switch the orientation of the window. Click and drag the statistics window so it's aligned with the VLAN tags identified in our real-time view. 
Finally, you can change the statistics from the unformatted results or any numeric view you wish. You are now monitoring incoming VLAN traffic in real time and viewing the bandwidth associated with each VLAN. You can sort the VLAN bandwidth utilization by pressing the throughput statistics column and watch as the VLAN order changes based on received throughput. Once the measurement is complete, stop the test by pressing the stop icon located in the test menu tab on the right hand side of the GUI. To generate a report, press the report icon located in the same test menu. Reports can be saved in PDF, XML, or CSV file formats. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like more information on any of the Enritsu products, including the Network Master Pro, please visit www.enritsu.com.